voice to keep you informed and entertained during this time so you don't feel bored at home. I know a lot of you are complaining. Just put your feet up and enjoy this ride. As you see the ones to watch at this gallery in Lagos. Then we are dedicating a part of the show to our online creators as we see the works of art they have done during the lockdown. I'm Melinda Akinlami, welcome to Art House. Let's start off by serving you this spoken word and our art quote for this week. Our spoken word for the week is from Leg Jab Favor in Joss Plateau State. I am drawn from a lucid dream by my neighbor's daily Nigerian wailings. As I now lay on my bed writing this piece, it is laughter at my background. My neighbor's children race through my door, screaming like they've been featured in some horror movie or more likely gone insane. I get startled and enraged. Thinking back when 9 o'clock was a compound cemetery hour, when there was pin drop silent, I'm left to ponder such great times before everything changed in the twinkling of an eye. Because the virus moves within the earth like the biblical demon looking for whom to devour as we are all hiding in our homes. Watching through my window, I see everyone is home, except me. I'm locked in some room with strangers around. No calls today, it's like I've been forgotten. I'm left to console myself with NCDC's message to stay home. Indeed, these are lonely days. Indeed. These are lonely days. The masters never got tired. Because they always want to have something to tell through their works, they want to say it fast before the sun sets. That's the life of an artist. Information age is too busy to observe little things in nature. The artist has a duty to draw attention to these details of nature. This group exhibition at a gallery in the commercial capital is to give young artists a platform to express themselves creatively. Ten young and vibrant artists have been chosen as the ones to watch in the future that will take the country by storm if they are given the necessary encouragement and support. Hey, hey, hey. So far, they have been getting that from my dream gallery with this annual exhibition, which is the third series of Generations, The Future Masters. Future masters because these artists have worked with um, traditional mediums um, on canvas, so they've done works, you know, using oil, pastel, acrylic, all on canvas. You know, traditional um, artists, and they followed, you know, traditional techniques of um, showcasing their, their works, and that's why they're future masters. And for more on the idea behind this initiative. The gallery explains that this platform is to give room to fresh hands who may not have the opportunity to show off their undiluted creative prowess. We see these young artists, the 10 of them, we believe um, these are artists who in their own right are uh, becoming the future masters. Mr. Abiodun Laku, which is one, uh, one of the leading and the foremost artists in uh, Nigeria, you know, they came up with an idea that uh, they should encourage artists that are still in the line of uh, traditional, you know, style of painting. So, so they came up. They actually uh, came up with the idea of organizing uh, this exhibition to encourage such artists that may not have the opportunity to. Uh, to be promoted or supported, you know, as we know that uh, a lot are currently going on in the art uh, 
uh, scene, landscape of uh, the country. about my emotional response to the things that I see in this same environment. So all my works in this exhibition are actually about trying to let people, you know, the intellectual world, letting our society to be conscious about this community called Okuagoma Oko, with the hope of uh, changing their story, with the hope of bringing help to them and support. That's what I hope to achieve in, you know, in this exhibition. Although their works of art bring a breath of fresh air to this gallery, it doesn't mean they are the best amongst their peers. There's still room for improvement. As an artist, do what you love. Enjoy what you, what you do. And don't, um, don't give in to pressures and um, you know, wanting to cut corners to get up there. The truth is that the race for an artist is a marathon, so you have to keep doing what you love, doing what you believe in. And um, with that, um, I think the sky is a stepping stone. We may have several opinions about what art should be all about, but I believe that for me, you know, some even believe that art shouldn't, does not necessarily have to have a purpose. But for me, I believe that whatever I do should have a purpose. And we can see that in the works of, you know, God Almighty himself. He never made anything without uh, a purpose in mind. So I want to encourage, I want to achieve my purpose of bringing help, bringing our awareness to the condition of these kids living in Okuagoma Koko. And I want, to, I want to also be able to call for help. You know, I want people to be aware about their uh, standard of living there with the hope of bringing help and support to them. And I believe that I've been able to achieve that through this uh, exhibition. The process is key, and my dream has been part of this growth. Our curator, who is Mrs. Simideli Adisoya, um, in collaboration with um, you know, another master, who is Mr. Abiodun Olaku, you know, they've come together, and this fusion is um, encouraging artists and ensuring that these artists again, follow traditional mediums and techniques of um, visual arts. And the whole message behind this exhibition is to ensure that artists don't, don't lose their identity. They don't start movements that they can't really back up with you know, the traditional ways of, um, of, of showcasing art. These are works done by the 10 artists. Um, Emeka Wagbara, um, Damlola Okwedun, Salako Lajide, um, Funke Oladimeji, Shogun Fagorosi, um, Okwayemi Olukotun, and um, Femi Yewale. I think I look at one of Salako's works, which is um, titled Supplication. Um, it's, 
a beautiful work. I feel a work shows that um, the young lady trying to appease um, the gods for atone for things that have really gone wrong. So, and um, I think we look at Daniel Quedon's works too. He's showing us the coastal um, areas of Makoko, where we feel this is a slum, but in that slum there's beauty. There are people who 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 look up to and they know that they have a brighter future. It's revealed in the images displayed in the gallery, which touch on topics affecting the country. That show happened before the lockdown. Now let's see the works of art sent in this week. Artists are still talking about using face masks from the works of art we have here. Let's begin with Natle Creates. He calls this Wangit. It's done with pencil on paper. He says this is art for humanity. Then Joseph's art is done by Gloria. It's a watercolor painting. The Quarantine, there's a mixed media crayon and polythene on chipboard work done by Princess. Then Blessy Bassi has this one called Helpless State. It's an acrylic and newspaper clip on canvas work. And this other one is done with charcoal and graphite on alabaster paper. The artist says this is a drawing and not a picture. The COVID-19 series 001. He says we may feel powerless, but with love, we conquer this. We also need to have conscience. Stay home, stay safe. I hope the government sees that not all of us have the resources to stay at home, so hunger doesn't kill us. We pray the pandemic ends soon. Then Kilani Fatai has this one he calls the lockdown. It's done with watercolor. He says this has created an absurd experience that terrifies the people, even with the 14 days extension. He's asking salient questions, but he says we need to have courage to share love. Emmanuel Anaye has this piece he calls Freedom. He says to keep hope alive that very soon we will feel the freedom to go about our daily lives and be free from this pandemic and that's something that everyone looks forward to. So let's believe and know that it will happen sooner than we think. And those are the works of art you sent in this week. We appreciate you for sending them in and we do encourage you to stay creative and stay safe. Nice. And I noticed a lot of artists have been busy during this period using the time on their hands to show us their workflow. We'll share them with you when Art House returns.